I have, so hopefully that's in for this lesson. So it says ball A falls vertically from rest from the top of a tower 63 metres high. So there's ball A. And that's 63 metres high. Now, the ball A, it's positive, it's going down, so it's going with gravity. It says at the same time as A begins to fall, ball B is projected vertically upwards from the bottom of the tower with a speed of 21 metres per second, and the balls collide. Well, then you know what's happening. So for ball B, its positive direction is going up, so gravity is acting against it. Now they're going to collide somewhere in the middle. Well, well actually, I don't know if it's going to be in the middle, it depends how fast it's going to They're going to collide somewhere anyway. So what I might do, I can, I can do this either way, but if I call this distance x here, that must mean, so the ball B would travel X distance, but ball A would travel the difference between it, so 63 oops, minus X, and you can read that as 63 minus X. Right, so let's try and set up some info for what we've got this. So ball A, S will be 63 minus X. U, uh, so it falls vertically from rest, so that's zero. The B not bothered about A, it's going with gravity. Oh, good, you're in terms of gravity. Oh, wow. So A is G, and T, I don't know. Now, what do I want to find out here? Um, now, if I assume, actually thinking about this, if the been shot at the same time, when they collide, the time will be the same. So the time will be the same here, so I can use that to my, my advantage. So the time will be the same, it gives me something to put them equal to each other with. So I can use T to put the equations together. So without V, I've got S equals U T plus a half A T squared. So 63 minus X is zero lots of T plus a half G lots of T squared. Uh, so 63 minus X is a half G T squared. Right. Let's have a look at ball B. So ball B travelled X distance. U was 21 metres per second. Now remember, ball B, it's positive, is going up. Uh, v not bothered about it, so this time it's minus G because gravity is acting against it. T is T because it's the same time. So once again, uh, S equals U2 plus a half A T squared. So X is 21T plus a half, oh, minus a half, isn't it? It's a half of a minus G T squared. So I've got those two equations now. Now then, how can I do it? So I could, if you look, I've got different ways of doing this. I'm going to be a bit sneaky. It looks like you should put them equal to x, and then that'll, that'll find the time. But I'm going to be really sneaky. I'm going to say I've got a 63 minus x is a half gt squared. And I'm just going to swap these over. So I've got a half gt squared 
is 21T. Oof, now hang on, if I do that though, oh, I can't do that, because if I did that, if I put them together, I get rid of the half GT squares, but I've still got T and I've still got X. Oh, that's a shocker. Right, I'm going to have to then rearrange them for X. So my first plan of rearranging for half GT squared hasn't worked because I'd still have the T in there. So let's have this for X then. So if I rearrange that one for X, I've got 63 minus a half GT squared is X. And I've got X is 21T minus a half GT squared. So if I put them together, I'm not sure that one would be work then. I'd have a 63 minus a half GT squared is equal to 21T minus a half GT squared. The half GT squared cancel. So I'm left with the 63 is 21t. So three seconds is my time when they collide. So now I need to work out the distance. So that's the time they collide. So now if I sub it into x equals 21 lots of 3 minus a half. Uh, now I've got to leave it in terms of g, haven't I? G. 3 squared, that's a bit random, 63 minus 9 over 2 g. Now, that's its uh, distance. Now, that's from the bottom, because that's metres from the bottom. <laughs> that's, not, that's quite an interesting question, isn't it? You might say no, depends when you're doing these vids, I guess. Right, there's some consolidation, which we'll do in class. See you later. Bye-bye.